Hello Virgo, this is Eva at Munga de Soraka, and this can be your reading if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. Today we try to find the answer to who or what you don't see coming in love. And as usual, I am using the Hidden Words Oracle and the card at the bottom of the deck will show where you are at energetically right now. And the one which is flying out will be what or who you don't see coming. And um, just so you know, I am very grateful for you to be here. You are very welcome to my channel, whether you are new or have been here for a while. I love reading your comments. And uh, if you would like to have a personal reading or coaching session with me, do get in touch. So Virgo, I have five planets in Virgo, so I can relate to your energies and how you feel. Let's uh, get into your reading and see what or who is coming up. The bottom of the deck is the Fire Prince. Optimism, aggression, number 40. Now, if I had to translate it into a tarot card, this could be the Knight of Wands. Now, this prince, this knight, is bringing you lots of passion, lots of excitement. They would like definitely to win your heart over. They want your attention. And uh, they are very optimistic that you are going to give them that. And um, as your energy, spirit is showing me that you are connected to your soul, to your higher self, and you are moving forward. You are creating stability, maybe a bit slower than you want, but you are walking the path of abundance. You are... Um, also a light worker and showing uh, the way to others as you are walking it yourself. So this is an interesting energy already. And the one which you don't see coming is the sacred union. Virgo, I don't know whether you want this or not, but someone is coming to you wants to unite with you. Whether it's a new energy or an energy from the past at this stage, I don't know. But what I do know is um, this is about partnership and romance. This is about making progress. And um, this is a gorgeous energy. So I can't wait to find out more about what is happening. I was asked to use the, um, never know, Mystic Dreamer Tarot. <laughs> I know. My excuse is when I am channeling, I am not in my mind. So not <laughs> remembering the decks, the name is maybe forgivable all right so let's clarify first the fire prince what is this about this is your current energy so someone may have already contacted you or will contact you very soon ten of wands reversed ace of pentacles and the Queen of Wands. So you are very attractive, Virgo. People are noticing you. They want to talk to you. They want to be with you. They want to find out more about you. And um, it's like um, you want to let your hair down. You had enough struggles, and now you just would like to enjoy life. And... Um, this lady at the gate is looking back as if she is waiting for someone. So you possibly wished for um, a soulmate uh, to enter your life. And the soulmate is here. 
Now, Virgo, you also wished for equal giving and receiving. And you are making a decision right now about how your future is going to look like. You are fighting for your dreams and you are willing to wait. But I feel that you don't have much time to wait around because this person is coming in now. And this person is coming in with commitment. Virgo, I believe you have some kind of connection with this person already. It doesn't feel like a brand new energy. I am not saying it's someone coming back from the past, but it could be someone who you are already dealing with. And um, what you don't see coming is a very fast step forward so what i am getting from spirit it's like maybe you had your first date on saturday and um, you are going to become a couple tomorrow so it's like in a few days time the relationship is going up not a notch but like 10 and um it, the two of you are clicking, it's about committing to each other straight away, and uh, it's about wanting to succeed. So it's not feeling like a rushed decision, because I believe that both of you um, came to life when you met. So it's like a, a fated connection. Yeah, you both are on fire. <laughs> Interesting. Now, what is this sacred union about? So that's what you don't see coming. Three of cups reversed. The devil, the moon, my goodness, and the tower. <laughs> okay, so Virgo, what I feel is happening here. The tower is the bottom. So you could be like, um, you just broke up with someone. Okay, so it could be that you have been dating. Lots of people were interested in you. And you met someone from the dating site and then said, no, sorry, I don't want this. And the next day or two days later, you had a date with this person, with this new one. And um, now <laughs> you are like, can am I celebrating? What is happening? So you are still in the observation mode, in a way, um, and uh, and you are on your own. You are not exactly sure what's happening, but you are just going with the flow, and that's fine. So. Yeah, you are giving yourself some love and nourishment. You are making decisions from your heart and you are fighting for yourself. Wow. So this tower right now, it's also showing that this new person <laughs> really is coming into your life like a, what is that? Um, a meteorite, is it? Just suddenly coming out of the sky and boom it's right there so this is like a, a whirlwind <laughs> um, meeting and um, looking very interesting okay so I want to find out what is the energy between the two of you it's a brand new connection, but going extremely fast. Ace of Cups. See, that's the new beginning in love. Fantastic. With the sun. Look at that. Virgo, this is a very beautiful new connection, honestly. And yeah, you don't know what to do with this. Because you have been in this place of hurt and struggles and heartache and everything for a long time so you were grieving and you wanted to move forward that was what you asked for and you still feel broken hearted and now you don't know what to do you want to rush forward but you are also uh, afraid that um, 
you you go too fast but we're good this is going to take you to a very good place so yeah it feels really quick but trust it if it feels right just go for it okay <laughs> i love this this is um looking really interesting so i don't even ask for a possible outcome because the the outcome is what you don't see coming the sacred union so uh, let's ask about this person we have the lenormand here and uh, this fire prince so um, although i compared it to the knight of wands in the tarot which doesn't have a good reputation this person is not a player very passionate but not a player so let's see who you could be dealing with we've got um, pisces capricorn um yeah we did have the tower aries leo Uh, did we have anyone else? The height of Taurus. Okay, so so far this is what's showing up. So let's see about this person who is very passionate, very romantic, very much starved of passion and love. So let's see about this person, and we already have the polar bear. It, so this person is uh, very resilient, very strong, went through lots of things in life, difficult ones. Then we've got the home. So this is um, someone who loves um, building a nest with the right person they don't like being on their own so that could be the opposite of you Virgo because you are the hermit you like being in your own company and uh, your person is taking a risk and uh, acting on their instinct and intuition they know that this is divine timing they recognize that they possibly asked for this for a while you could have asked for them for a while and now it's here and they recognize that they could be very intuitive pisces energy is very intuitive energy um it, i'm not saying it's a pisces you are dealing with but could be and they are just following their heart, going where there is the sun, where happiness is for them. So home is where the heart is. That's their motto. And they love building the home. Yeah, we've got the inner child. So they, as I said, I feel like they are craving some fun time, some joy and love and happiness they haven't had that they possibly are hard working they were maybe in a loveless connection or a very long connection which became cold or somehow they didn't get what they really deserved uh, the love and care that they give to others what else the mask Um, so I feel that um, they are going to show a side of them which they usually don't so um, they may have not been dating for a very long time and now They are just basking in the light and the love and the happiness that they are getting. Wow. And I've got two more cards. The burden reversed. And 
this lady, the romantic love. So that's you, Virgo. They found, the fire prince found their person. The romantic person, the romantic love connection they wanted. So this is looking very gorgeous, Virgo. Seriously. This person is very ready for it. And I feel that you are ready too. So Virgo, I am going to continue this on Patreon and see what else we can find out about your person, the connection, what is happening, where the two of you are going. Because this fear is like, you hardly know each other, but you do, like recognize each other's souls from a past life. And it's like you, you trust, you have this feeling of home. I am home. I am at home. Even after two days or three or five or how many you are having right now. Um, it's amazing. So Virgo, if this is your reading, I'm very, very happy for you. Do let me know. And uh, if you are not a Patreon member, you are very welcome to join. It's a fantastic uh, value for money. You get lots of all the extended readings for only, I think it's 15. I don't know whether it's $15 or 15 pounds now, but it's very close anyway. Uh, and... Um, if you are not a Patreon member, you still can get a one-off extended link, which is in the description box. So thank you so much for being here. I will see you soon. Bye for now.